Hey, this is Rowan from Reload Bags, and this is our Frequently Asked Questions video. We're going to do our best to answer some things that get asked a lot and clear up some misconceptions, and we're going to take some of our previously received emails and phone calls and use those as examples. So first up, we've got Earl from Philadelphia who's asking, what's the difference between Cordura and Wax Canvas, and is Wax Canvas more durable and more waterproof? Well, really, the main difference is in the aesthetics. The Cordura material is a synthetic canvas, and the wax canvas, which you can see here, um, this is obviously a, a screen-printed pocket, but the wax canvas is on the sides and the back of the bag, is a natural material that has been treated um, with a, a water-resistant coating. Uh, the real waterproofing and weatherproofing that's in our bags comes from the liner material and not from the outside material. The Cordura is really light, really tough, um, comes in a ton of colors, and wax canvas is very light as well, uh, almost as tough, and comes in a bit fewer colors. The real aesthetic difference is that the wax canvas is, you know, to some, a really beautiful material. Um, it will age and kind of develop characteristics unlike the synthetic Cordura material. But as far as practical use, um, both of them are equally weatherproof. Next up, we have Dan in Seattle who's asking about the differences between our different liners where we use truck tarp um, or vinyl coated nylon in some of our bags like the mini pack, mid pack, and our shoulder bags. And then we have a newer weatherproof fabric material that we use for the lining in our flight packs. Uh, mainly, again, they are equally weatherproof. Um, the truck tarp liner is a little bit stiffer, it's a little bit heavier, um, and it's a little bit more abrasion resistant. And our newer liner um, is actually, even though it's a fabric, I have a small piece here and it is actually backed with a rubberized coating. Um, we use it in the flight packs just to kind of lighten the weight a little bit um, and it's also kind of really comfortable off the bat because it's a more pliable material, it has a softer feel to it, um, but again they're, they're both equally weatherproof. Linda in Seattle asks how do we take the measurements for our bags and this is actually something that comes up a lot um, mainly because there's a lot of different companies making bags now and we all kind of do our measurements a little bit differently. Uh, we really try our best to indicate how we do this and to give uh, volume measurements and everything, but um, I just wanted to show you real quick uh, actually how we do our measurements. And at Reload, all of our bags are measured from the corners on the base. So what this means is if we're doing the width, we'll measure from this corner to this corner on the bottom or the base of the bag, and that's 13 inches. Then for the height, we will actually measure from the bottom corner up to the lip of the bag. So on the Messenger Mini here, that is 10 inches. And finally for the depth, once again, corner to corner. And on this bag, we have a six inch depth. So the Messenger Mini, according to our measurements, is 13 inches wide, 10 inches high, and 6 inches deep. And like I said, that goes all the way across the board for all of our products, so hopefully that helps a little bit with the, the measurements. Okay, so lastly, Kevin in Boston asks about the Strap Keeper buckles and what are the Strap Keeper buckles. This is something that comes up a lot when people are just in the shop or looking at bags. And they'll ask, well, what are, what are these buckles for on the flap? And where are the straps that go to those? And well, what, are, what are these for here? And these are actually the strap keeper buckles. And their only job is to keep this strap, which you can use when you need to in order to close up the flap of the bag. That keeps this out of the way when you're actually not using it so that it doesn't hang down in your wheel or just kind of flop around behind you. And that's basically what the strap keeper buckles are. So uh, we hope this clears up some questions that people have um, 
This type of video, the uh, question and answer video, is actually something that we want to do more in the future. We know that there's a lot of little questions that come up and things aren't necessarily like 100% laid out um, on the website. There's always little questions that are gonna come up. So if you have something that you're wondering about our bags or our accessories and you wanna ask us a question, just leave a comment below or you can email us reloadeast at reloadbags.com. We'll be happy to cover it in our next video. All right, thanks a lot. Hope you have a great day.